This video is brought to you by XP Pen. In today's video, we're gonna talk about 8 of the best investments that you can make as a 3D artist. This can be either in the form of time or money, and sometimes both. But they will include everything that can help you be more productive as a 3D artist. First of all, you need to have a good machine. This one is kinda obvious. To be able to make 3D modeling and animation projects, you will need an adequate PC. There's no way around this. No matter how good you are at your work, you can't get most of it done if you don't have a good rig. Of course you can work on your skills on your machine as a beginner, but to do this professionally, you're gonna need a device built for this purpose. A good computer is a must if you want to take this as a serious career choice. You're gonna probably spend most of your times or days sitting behind the screens and you want your time to be as pleasant as possible, right? So having a high-end machine not only saves you a lot of time and headaches, but also allows you to make a lot of artistic decisions that otherwise you wouldn't be able to achieve just because your machine can't handle the workload. When we talk about a good machine, I'm of course referring to the RAM, the CPU, and the GPU. The GPU in particular is probably the single most important piece of hardware as a 3D artist. Not only does it minimize the render times, but more importantly, it speeds up your viewport, making previewing your project and working on your scenes a lot more efficient and easier. You are also gonna need a good amount of RAM. You should strive for 64 gigabytes if you can, but 16 gigabytes should be the bare minimum. Anything lower than that, and you're gonna probably suffer in certain situations. The second best thing you can do as a 3D artist is investing in a drawing tablet. Now, you might find this weird, but drawing tablets can really make the process of texturing and especially sculpting a lot more efficient and fun. Nowadays, using a mouse for sculpting is just not acceptable, especially at the professional level. At the beginning, of course, you can get away with just using the mouse, but as you make progress in the field, you should really put your hands on one, I mean a drawing tablet, and you will feel the difference immediately. A drawing tablet also can be really useful when doing texture painting, as you have a lot more options like pen pressure and tilt control. Things that you can't do with a mouse, and if you want to really go the whole way and you want to take it to the next level, you can grab one of those monitor painting tablets, however it is on the expensive side, but a screen drawing tablet like this can save you a lot of time and money, but if you are just starting out, I recommend something simple. Talking about templates, let me take a moment and talk about today's sponsor, XP Pen and their RS13 Pro tablet. It comes with a 13.3 inch Full HD display that has an 80% anti-SC color range which offers great color accuracy and more than enough workspace to work with. It also comes with a fully laminated display which has a matte finish to minimize the glare and can give an extra grip when drawing on the screen. The 13 Pro also comes with 8 fully customizable hotkeys to the left and the iconic red ring that you can set up for scrolling, zooming, panning, changing the brush size and much more. The pen also saw a lot of improvements this time around. The pen comes with 8192 levels of pressure which we come to expect. But what's new this time is that it has 15 to 60 degrees of tilt support which was a Wacom exclusive thing until recently. The pen is also battery free and very lightweight. Also by the way, X-Pen is having a huge sale with Black Friday and Christmas. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. Number 3 you will need a good monitor. Alright, this one might sound a little bit weird, but hear me out. As a 3D artist, you will definitely spend more time looking at the screen than anything else in your life. You will be staring at it the whole day, all day long, basically for the rest of your life. That's why investing in a good screen is of paramount importance to your health, but also to your daily work. A good monitor will offer more accurate colors, better image quality, bigger resolution, and even higher refresh rate with the latest IPS panel and HDR technology. A good monitor also should be one of your top priorities, and the more screen real estate you have, the better. You just need a 1080p monitor as a start. You probably don't want to go above 27 inches or above 4K. Of course, you can create amazing art with a 4K monitor, but the extra accuracy and precision can make life a lot more easier. Number 4 Render Engines We talked about some hardware, now it is time to talk about the software side. As a 3D artist, at some point, you're gonna need to render your projects, and of course, there are a lot of free render engines out there, but of course there are paid ones. 
Getting a license for a powerful render engine is a great investment, especially if it works really well within your pipeline. Some render engines are good at some stuff and bad at others, so pick the one that suits you the best and the field you are working in and invest your time and money into that. Whether you are working as an archivist artist, a product designer, an animator, a motion design artist, or whatever you do, because there is an abundance of render engines that you can choose from. Number 5. Third-party tools and assets Plugins, scripts, brushes, and even 3D assets are extremely useful tools that can optimize your workflow tremendously. Sometimes a day's work can turn into an hour of work using the correct plugins and 3D assets that often can expand functionality of the software and offer the needed tools and features. Blender, for instance, has a lot of really powerful add-ons, the likes of hard ops, mesh machine, flip fluids, and much more. For 3ds Max, you have, for example, Ray Clone, Type Flow, Fume Effects, Thinking Particles, and so on, and the same can be applied for Maya. Of course, for Cinema 4D and other software, you have their own set of plugins and tools. Additionally, brushes, presets, and assets can also save you a lot of time as well. When I started my digital art journey, I thought I always needed to create everything myself, but that wouldn't be further from the truth. At the beginning, you can make everything yourself to learn the correct workflow. However, later on, you're gonna rely a lot on these add-ons, presets, brushes, and so on to speed up your workflow and spend your time on what you do best. Number 6. Render Farms Render farms are a great option if you want to save yourself a lot of time. Think of how much time you can save up using a powerful GPU on your local machine and now think about having tens of them lined up ready to be used by you, and especially if you want to do a lot of renders in a short period of time. If you don't want to waste your time waiting for the render to finish, investing in a render farm is a great option, especially if you are rendering animations, which can take a very long time. And the great thing is, all the processing is done on the cloud. Number 7. Training Training includes courses, tutorials, and maybe even art degrees. If you want to take this seriously, you might want to invest in good online courses. Of course, YouTube is a great resource, but sometimes you will need curated exercises condensed in one place. And courses are a great investment for your money and time, especially if you know exactly what you need to learn, and luckily there are a lot of options out there. In this day and age, you can learn just about anything, especially online. There are even art online universities with great curriculums to help you throughout your journey. If you want to join real art schools and get a degree, then it is really important to do your research and choose a good school that will actually help you achieve your goals, because you might end up wasting a lot of your time if you don't choose a good one. Luckily, there are some companies which can give you an independent assessment of these art schools around the world and show you their ranking in comparison to other art schools. So just make sure that you know this and do your due diligence before spending your money and even more importantly, spending your time. Number 8. You need to have a good setup While it is necessary to have a good PC, don't forget that you are sitting behind the screen all day. So you also might consider investing in a good desk and more importantly, a good chair. Trust me, your back will thank you later. A good chair will go a long way in helping you throughout your journey. This doesn't just go for artists only, but for all people who sit behind the screen all day. Investing in an ergonomic chair is probably the best way to go, but a gaming chair will just be fine. Remember also to take note of your posture. I know that this is not our subject, but it is always a good idea to take care of your health, walking from time to time and maybe working out. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.